Well, good morning. Here we are looking at Proverbs 24 this morning, looking at verses 1 and 2. This is saying number 19. Really, we're dealing with the idea of envy here. Okay, so let's read what it says in verses 1 and 2. It says, Be not envious of envy of evil men, nor desire to be with them, for your hearts, for their hearts desi- devise violence, and their lips talk of trouble. Now, this is a very interesting passage. We've seen similar sayings, for instance, in Proverbs 7, uh, 23, verse 17 where it says, Let not your heart envy sinners, but continue in the fear of the Lord all the day. So the idea of envy, the topic of envy, has been brought up already. But here, uh, once again, he's saying that we're not to be envious of evil men. We're not to be desiring to be with them, because there are certain reasons that are going to inhabit or inhibit us from Uh, living a life that brings glory to God. He's basically saying that if you you look in in life right now and you look and you see there are maybe co-workers or friends uh, who, acquaintances that you have, that they seem to be getting more out of life than you are, uh, don't envy them. Because if they're not following the, the way of the Lord, if they're not fearing the Lord, Uh, It's only going to lead to problems. It's only going to lead to struggles. It's going to lead to difficulties. Um, Now, the reason why he says that we're not to do this is because their hearts devise violence and their lips talk of trouble. In other words, it's going to come back to haunt you if you follow them. Uh, Think about it in in a simpler term. Uh, chances are, if you're watching this, you're an adult, and we have different kinds of issues and different kinds of problems, but just think about it as a as a kid. Think about it from this perspective. Your your parents love you. They, they want you to get a good education. And so you go to school, and you come home, and you study hard. You do exactly what you're supposed to do. You study hard, and yet you still get C's. Maybe it's a class Uh, in spelling or in vocabulary, and you're just having a hard time memorizing these things and remembering the rules and all that kind of stuff, and you study as hard as you can, and you still get a C. Well, you have some other friends. Now, these friends, uh, they get an A. They get an A. They're out. They're playing hockey in the streets. They're playing football with their friends. Um, they're not taking their books home when they're uh, at night to study because they get the A by cheating. You see this. You see the hard work that you're putting into this. Then you see, uh, and, and, and you're only getting a C, and then you look over at your, these friends of yours, and they are getting uh, an A, and they're not putting in any work. How on earth are you going to deal with this? What are you going to do? Are you going to follow through with what they're doing and and go ahead and follow along with them and cheat? Well, guess what happens to them? Eventually, uh, maybe say you do that. And week one goes well, week two goes well. You're not having to bring your books home and study. And, and, and because you were envious of them, now you're in with them. You have followed along. Until the teacher finds out that you were cheating. And now you are in big trouble. You see, no longer are you going to have any of those A's. Those A's now go to F's. And now you are uh, stuck with being in trouble at home as well as being in trouble at school. And uh, all of these things just come crashing down on you. Now, as adults, our issues are a little bigger. They're a little bit more expensive rather than just cheating on a, on a test. Maybe it's you look and see you have friends and they're able to, to do all of these things because they cheat on their taxes or cheat in their business or they're stealing from their workplace. And whether that be stealing time or stealing uh, things, um, maybe it's uh, cheating on a husband or a wife and 
And there's just there's just all kinds of things that people uh, who are adults, uh, it's the same issues. It's just bigger toys, more complicated situations, whatever it may be. They end up with trouble. They end up with violence. Don't envy them so that you're influenced by them. Uh, they end up in trouble. They end up with violence and in just mere destruction. Now I want you to think about something for a minute. Consider Jesus. Consider Jesus here because when you think about him, did he envy the religious leaders, the popular religious leaders of his day? Uh, did he look and see the popularity that they had, the crowds that, that they had, uh, and, and decide that he was going to go with them. No, he didn't, he didn't envy that at all. As a matter of fact, when Satan came and tempted him, that if he would just bow down and worship him, he'd give him all the kingdoms of the earth, he quoted Scripture and uh, because he wanted to obey the Lord. He wanted to not envy those people. Uh, he knew that the Lord would give him the right things and when the time would come. And so Jesus always sought to honor his Father. He sought to be content with what he had. He sought to be content to where the Lord had placed him. And so we should take a lesson from Jesus and we should seek to do the very same thing. Let's not be envious of evil men and those who do not know God, but rather help us to be desirous to obey and honor God, to, be, uh, to do what is pleasing to him. Uh, and uh, in the end, we will find the opposite of violence and the opposite of trouble. We will find blessing and we will truly find life. Well, I hope that you will look in your life and seek to, to not be envious and that the Lord will richly bless you uh, this day and, and this week. Have a great day.